Chris King K G N O O B. What homes you ain't know? We're U F O. Cargo khakis, polos, and fresh kicks. That's the definition of what the cargo kids is. S O S yes, space style swagger. I never do anything right. I'm backwards. I'm so galactic, so erratic. You niggas on my old swag. You can have it. The world is mine. And your girl is too, so do us a favor, make room for the crew. Wow. Who that? Who that? They're not from around. It's gotta be my imagination. I think it's in their face. I think it's in their face. I think it's in their face. They're not from around here. I think it's in their face. Who that? Who that? They're not from around. It's gotta be my imagination. I think it's in their face. I think it's in their face. I think it's in their face. So I'm not rushing, spaced out swag, best believe I'm paper touching, super stupid flow, and you bitches can't tell them nothing, UFO, uniquely flying out, stand- and we are live. hey, we live baby, <laughs> how y'all doing, welcome back to the SS Who That, the Who That podcast, uh, the number one podcast on this side of the Mississippi and Nile River, uh, I'm B, how y'all doing, if you don't know. I'm the hostess with the mostest, I guess. The hostess we, with the mostest. <laughs> we got the captain, uh, Paco DeMario. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. And we have our uh, our reoccurring um, political analyst, friend of the show, very smart man, very cool dude, uh, joining us again, Josh Hay. How you doing, bro? Uh, living the dream. Living the dream, man. So, jo- I, your Facebook says Joshua. Yes. But Josh is... Uh, okay. The reason I go by Josh, it's just easier. When yes. I was going to school, there were like 12 Joshuas because apparently yeah. parents had no creativity during the 80s and just like, <laughs> oh, Josh, that worked. Well, Joshua. well you know, on the name. The 70s, yeah. Everybody was trying to get biblical. They were like, yeah. you need God after this. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's Dolly Parton, actually. She had a song about a big, dumb redneck or something like that. Not thinking about how it's going to scar us when we get older. <laughs> so... The, the names go in, in, in phases, like uh, what you got the Jacksons right now and all that mm-hmm. stuff. And I think mm-hmm. that's from like Sons of Anarchy Jacks. Yeah, know, everybody wants to call a kid Jacks. Yeah. There's a bunch of limbs. There's a bunch You're of right. yeah. There's all that people. People name their kids in in, in waves. Game mm-hmm. of Thrones apparently is producing a crap ton of names. Oh yeah, like I think Daenerys is one of the uptrending female Daenerys. names. Right? Yeah. For real. Yeah. So. so I have a bunch of white kids named Daenerys. <laughs> <laughs> Why you fucking up their job situation? <laughs> for real. Well, well, you know they're going to get the application with Daenerys Johnson. Mm. Mm, we're going with Jessica Jessica White. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's Jessica another White. thing you think about. It's like they also pulled a fast one on the it's Jon Snow. Well, what's his Ooh. name now? Right, like, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jon Snow. But People change their last name. Yeah. I feel bad for the last name situation. I've always wondered that because I, I was gifted with a three-letter last name. Hey. Yeah. I feel bad for the ones that have, like, the long Polish-like last names and stuff like Bro, that. Right, Just right, the, right. The weird spell. Yeah. The, the S-P-R. S-P-R, bro. Yeah. That's how mine starts. Court is a bitch for me. It doesn't matter. I'm here. I'm in this motherfucker. Oh, yeah. 
I pray every time, like, just let them start backwards today. Right. And you know what? Season. Sometimes they do that. Sometimes they do I that shit. I haven't been there yet for it. Yeah. I haven't been oh, there yet. Oh, man. For real. So. But, so, uh, I've been hearing about some videos going around, man. Yeah. Uh, I don't know all of them. Who's in here? Who's who's looking? Who all the viewers? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. How y'all doing? Um, all the viewers <laughs> and everything. We some some videos of a pastor, a barber shop, and uh, I saw the barber shop and the pastor video. You seen both? Yeah, I haven't seen them. Yeah, my them. my barber. Shout out. You know who you are. My barber sent me the barber shop video. I don't know why. He always sends me the trending no, sex man. videos. I don't know no. why. <laughs> Get a cut with your cut. Get a cut. So what's the barber shop video? Is it like if like, it's the one that I saw, it's like three chicks and a guy going to a barber shop and then they like serve the entire barber shop up. Yeah. Serve them up. What? Yeah. What, so three girls go in a barbershop and just start getting... Yeah, they have a guy with them. I don't know what the significance... He's giving head too? No. Uh, no. no. <laughs> 2019, baby! Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, right. The three chicks go in a barbershop and just start giving head. Hello, Stephanie. Stephanie said hi. Hey. Hey. <laughs> well, um, thank you for uh, watching, Steph. All right. Shut up and eat. Right. Well, um, so three girls walk in and start... All right, that sounds like a great video. The, yeah, the pastor I heard was giving head too. Yeah, so this is just a bunch of head videos going around. Yeah, but it's like the the, the pastor looks like the dude from the Tyler Perry, the little short, dark skinned ball headed dude. Oh. So it, that's what he looks like. So I feel like I'm watching like a Tyler Perry parody. Mr. Brown. Yeah, it's <laughs> a video, of Mr. Brown. You pussy. Yeah. Oh it no, weird. it's it was too weird for me. I couldn't. Uh... Yo, if anybody has the videos, please send them to me. Yes, yeah, uh, Brandon wants to see the videos. Drop the link. I want to see Mr. Brown eat some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Yo, so, somebody please let me see those yeah. that's crazy as hell man. right right <laughs> so well that's that's why that's the all right so that's trend. Have, have you ever had a video leak me yeah no 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 i ain't never had a video i don't leak. make them so I've they been, don't leak <laughs> I, I make them but yeah. i've been suspected of being in two videos but yeah it wasn't me though <laughs> but i've been suspected okay yeah it wasn't you. Are you? Is that the story you sticking to? This motherfucker. That's, right. <laughs> that's the story I'm sticking I'm going to. Straight like OJ on this. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm sharing this to everybody. I know they're like, man, that nigga on his phone. Yeah, uh, just do a watch party, man. I did it, but I shared it to certain groups too, so we get viewers that are not already affiliated. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's our podcast tip. Boom. <laughs> share this to your groups, your friends. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff. So. Josh, how, how's it been since the last time we saw you? A lot of work, and I feel bad because I was right about one thing. Okay. The the, the shooting incident that went out of the limelight for other stuff that happened. Right. Yeah. 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 But you were right. Besides that, damn. You yeah, right. it's personally great. But as a uh, viewer of history and politics, no. greener pastures will come one day, or. There's songs about that old stuff, Greener Fields or some stuff Man, like that. Man, and that, yeah, because it's, you, he just reminded me of the shooting. Um, yeah. And I, I hadn't, we it, hadn't addressed it. Had swept we? over, like, so fast. Damn. <laughs> that wasn't that long ago. No. 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 Wow. But. You were right. We called it. It's. We move on real quick. It's the American way. Yes. I wonder if, as, as a society, we just have so much stuff going on that we, because, like, no, as the United States, we have our hands into everything. Right. So I wonder if it's the fact that just because of how we do things, we can't really, you know, focus on anything more than, like, a week or two. Honestly, I think, and that I, I, that is a good uh, perspective on it. I feel like after a while, once you keep looking at something, you know something, mm -hmm. actions required on some level. And we're so into just holding the phone and looking at it yeah. to where we don't, the action part, it has to be real, like the strike going on right now. Like, it has to be a act, like real deal, what? top level emergency before we do action about What's it. What's the term? Impersonal? And, like, the news is so impersonal. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. Texas or Ohio. Well, we're Tennessee. Right. And so, like, I'm sure, like, the strike for some people, like, in New Mexico or something like that, it's, it's probably not a big deal. Right. 
There is not a big deal at right. all. They're fine. Right. They're fine. They're they're doing okay. Yeah, I they're, mean, it, they're like, it, oh wow, it really sucks for those guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, or if they even think about it at all. Right. They probably don't. It's yeah. probably not even their news feed. Yeah. And like on your timeline, you know, they got the algorithm for your well, location and other people around you with their sharing. So they might not even be updated that there's a strike happening. That's why I like newspapers. The I know it's old through. fashioned, but yeah. I like newspapers because, like, big newspapers like the Ti- New York Times mm-hmm. or like the LA Times or mm-hmm. like uh, the Washington Post, everything's on them. Everything. It's, yeah. So it's like, okay, you might have a front page. It's like some big thing in Tennessee happens, big thing in Texas happens, California. You get updated oh, on them. Yeah. Yep. Oh, well, South Carolina, this happened. So I'm subscribed to like, no lie, like 18 different mm-hmm. newspapers on my phone. And that makes my phone blow up yeah. crazy. Yeah. And that's another reason why I'm a bad texter because yeah. I don't know when my phone's going off for the right reasons. Right, right. Like, you don't know if it's people yeah. or bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. But it does keep me updated on every damn thing going on. Yeah. Like Bernie being back, baby. <laughs> 25,000 at the rally. New York. We in here. AOC. Yeah, she's supporting. Michael Moore. He's supporting. What's up? We winning. Okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but America, though, we do like fuck up often but the best thing that well for us ignorance is bliss yeah. right so if you just don't acknowledge the fuck up or if you don't really put action into it you just let it be swept under the rug you can go on with your regular day you can keep watching love and hip hop and that's yeah. housewives and all that and everything's back fine we just like to be snug in our own little that cocoon. security yes yeah. there's this movie uh, about the, the media and if you watched um, Zeitgeist then it's, there's different clips of this movie in, in the Zeitgeist documentary. But I think it's called The Media or Newsroom or something like that. But this guy was talking, he's ranting about how we love the artificial cocoon we put mm-hmm. on ourselves. Right. And I think that, like, especially with social media, it's so easy to keep your cocoon what you want to see. Yes. You can, you can tunnel vision your way through reality now. Well, that's why you have people with news fades. And this is. I don't say any. I don't want to say anything ever bad about the right because mm. it's just how they believe things are. Right. But I guarantee you, their I think news some of y'all feed fucked up. Their right. ne- news feed phone is different from my news feed. Yeah, my, definitely. Mine's probably a lot more slanted towards left issues, where theirs is more slanted towards, towards right. the right. Now, yes. don't get me wrong. There are some extremists over there. There are extremists mm-hmm. on our side. Extremists mm-hmm. everywhere. If there's an idea, there's an extremist. I, all right, I got a question. Yes. What is the difference between a liberal or left extremist and a right or Republican extremist? Because in my mind, those are two, even the extreme of yes. each of them aren't even balanced. I feel like a, an extreme liberal just is like, hey, man, we just on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel like a, an extreme right, if like going to the extreme, yeah. is, is tiki torches and lynchings again. Like, you know what I'm well, saying? Well, like. But we're in we're in a very southern place, so I think that could go like an extremist here where we yeah. live on the right side of things. Like that's we, history once again. Yeah. But I feel like an extremist on the left that, that I don't see violence coming from that. Is there a violent like p- potential for being an extreme left? I know the right complains about Antifa. Sometimes there's been an issue with violence at their rallies. What is Antifa, can you tell me, please? Uh, I don't know what it is. Oh, really? You don't know what Antifa? I swear I don't know what it is. Okay, I know that ahead. they fight in Portland a lot. Yeah, <laughs> Portland's their... White folks are going crazy in Portland. Y'all are <laughs> y'all swinging on each other in the streets. Right. I don't know why, but Antifa is <laughs> fighting. The right accuses because, in fact, Portland has a left-leaning mayor, so he doesn't seem to stop, like, as uh-huh. they're... Antifa can do marches in Portland easier than other places. Okay. So some of the right people who want to fight... Ah. Like the Proud Boys or something like that. Portland's Proud a dream boys. come true. Because, like, uh, Portland Proud is, boys. like, you know Antifa's going to have a march there. So if you want to go call some crap, you know where to go. So what's what's Proud Boys? What, what's Antifa? Uh, Let me come back. I can't remember the guy's name. There's a there's a fellow who started this group, Proud Boys, and it's this whole idea of identifying of what it means to be a man. Tattoos and... Okay. Really, right. it looks like a hipster coalition. That's what it no sounds like. No offense to hipsters. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, but, this is Proud Boys? Yeah, about? this is Proud Boys. Okay. And they're more in that line of they'll throw a punch in a heartbeat. All right. And uh, and thus... They, so they're nostalgic, mentally, man. Except for when you look at them, 
<laughs> when I think of when people idolize like what masculinity is, I always mm-hmm. I, I think of like the forties. You know, the guys working on scabbard, like on top of the thing. Oh, just, walking the the, the, yeah. sca- the scaffolding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Their idea, like they're really part of no other group except maybe their union that they're you know working with. Right. They go home. Mm-hmm. They have their, you know, their family. Yeah, they make they, TV shows about it forever. Blue, yeah, exactly. blue collar, gentlemen. yeah, blue yeah, exactly. Collar. Yeah, exactly. Now you got these guys with the, you know, oiled hair sort of wave tattoos, comb overs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's the neo greaser look. I think Vice actually did something over the Proud Boys. The Proud, and I like Vice. I, I'm surprised I haven't. I, I'm thinking seen Vice that. may have had something over them because I think his name's like Dennis. Dennis McGinnis or something like that. McGinnis. He has like an Irish sounding right, last boy. name. Is so the they guy. like the fight. And Antifa is. Uh, what does Antifa. Is that an acronym? Anti fascist. More or less. Yeah. Anti fascist. Yeah. But shit, I'm, all right, fine. That's great. That's anti Hitler, right? Yeah. Uh, break so, it down. <laughs> the best <laughs> way. Antifa wears masks just like some of the old right, right does. And they're sometimes riots and there's V for Vendetta mask abound aren't they uh, no that's anonymous yeah oh, that's anonymous that's I, I a whole another group of yeah. folks <laughs> more like you know uh, I don't want to call it like the cowboy kind of thing you know the mask is oh, pulled over okay. with hoodies cowboys with hoodies uh, yeah I've seen the videos of them fighting <laughs> yeah. okay yeah. alright that's Antifa yeah that's all right, Antifa alright alright shout out to World Star uh, so yeah. the whole idea <laughs> is like the message the one idea of yes fascism's bad Right. Let's do this. Yes. But we shouldn't do it certain ways. Right, right. Because if you go with violence, and yeah. this goes back, Martin Luther King Jr. and the others realize, you go with violence, you lose your credibility with the other side. The minute you throw a punch or shoot something, then they could just brand you as an extremist or a terrorist or something like right. that. Right, right. Credibility is yes. down the toilet. So the if you refuse to use the methods they're using, yeah. it puts you theoretically on the high ground. Okay, and shout out to Martin Luther King. I mean, I Great think guy. that's the best way. To- but if it's anti-fascist, yes, then the credibility that you're losing is with a fascist supporter, right? The whole thing is not everybody on the right is fascist. Well, I mean, I'm just yeah. saying, like when they get into their fist oh, fights and stuff. Yeah, when they get in the fist yeah. fights, it's, it's like. But it's in their the mind, that, they're seeing like you're a fascist yeah. supporter. I'm anti-fascist. It, I'm gonna it punch becomes you in the face. so black and white it's dangerous. Yeah, that's what it's, yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, and if you have a so mil- these are the extremes of the right and the left. Yes, coming. Oh shit! Yeah, I mean, okay, I'm getting to answer yeah. all my questions at one time. Okay. <laughs> I mean, because it, even though it's not the case, sometimes the left has been accused of causing riots in major cities. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean in, it's bad, but it's, I'm sorry. I see the, I see like liberals as like hipsters. All yeah, time. I know. So but I you gotta remember though, like you're looking at it as the California leftists. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there are leftists everywhere. Detroit. Yeah, Milwaukee. Like, Detroit right. left. That's a whole. I guess left. I just got like the the prototype in my head. I'm just sandals. Yeah, I mean, Riding a bike in between traffic? No, no. no. Well, you got to remember another left-right versus fight. Theoretically, how some media has put it is the populace versus the police department. Ah, and that's a left versus right in I some hate cases. The police. Can't stand them. <laughs> but, I hate them. But would, I mean, would that's I be on one the left of the, or the right of that fight. The police will obviously be on the right, right? I mean, the it, police is whatever they're told to do, yeah. man. Uh, I mean, you can't. Like, it's but this is one of those things they point out and say, "Well, that's left versus right," because on the right we respect law and order. Oh, yeah. right. on the left, because they, I think they refer a lot of uh, left uh, right politicians mm-hmm. call themselves the law and order candidates. Right, right. Law and order candidates. And, and the funniest on thing the, about it, like SVU. to me, about the right, and you know, I'm not, I'm not right or left, but the funniest thing about the right to me is. They're like, yeah, we, we, uh, we abide the law that we're stocking up guns to overthrow. Yeah, just yeah. in case. Yeah, just in case we got to overthrow. Just you know? in case it goes too far. Yeah, and I agree with that though. I do yeah. agree with that. America is unique in that way that we have an armed population to that is the fail safe of the government going too far. There's but other countries like uh, overseas. Those who argue against Second Amendment right also tell you that's why we have such a high suicide 
and Very not true shooting that too. Right too. Yes, right. that's, the, the, there's two sides of the coin. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. And I and I agree with that. And I don't think that uh, assault rifles and all that should be sold in, in Walmart and everything. I think you should be able to get them if you go through the right channels. Well, but I, so I see where they're coming from with that. But I like the fact that you keep the big guy scared. If you, if, if Big Brother knows you ain't got no guns, but you, how scared is he? He has drones and tanks. They have, uh, hold on, wait, wait, wait. They, uh, to me, the scariest part is the biological stuff that they use. Yes. That's mm-hmm. way yes. scarier than any gun. You know, pump a gas through a home. But it's everyone... the sheer numbers. Yeah. Just sheer numbers. The amount of people that own guns in the, in the country has to outweigh the amount of people that are enrolled in the military. Right. It yes. has to. So but, just sheer number, like just number against number force. I just like the fact that you can scare the fuck out of them. Like we can't, we but, can't do everything like that shit they p- tried to pull in Ukraine. Yeah, hey, you can't do that here. Just from the fact that some motherfuckers got guns, I like it. Right. But it's hard. Now, when Kanye West is talking about the right, he says that the Republican Party did a lot of things for like black folks, and then they swapped like Democrats and Republicans swapped. Well, at what time? At what time period would you say that swap occurred? Because it that might. is true to a similar. Oh yeah, I'm, I don't because he think. doesn't get specific. You know, right? Okay, so. Because you look at well, if you go back to the beginning, the Republican Party, the platform to begin with, mm-hmm. is uh, more or less liberal in a lot of ways, such as it's anti-slavery so abolitionists were part of uh the republican, republican party yeah. but here's like the counter we don't want catholics in this country right okay oh because uh, protestant well protestant background so let's get yeah. rid of the irish we don't want the irish here ah but and, irish got got treated bad at first didn't they because uh, of that? hit or miss but uh, also do not make abolitionists don't make i don't want to make all abolitionists sound like they're loving a lot of abolitionists, their idea is we're freeing the slaves and we're sending them back. Oh, that sounds awesome. Uh, <laughs> what? There Did is a work? project that there is a country that you should know. Liber- Liberia. Liberia, yeah. And, that uh, is an ex-slave. Monrovia. It's like, no, if you want to free a population, you should not send them anywhere. Their mm. home is here. Mm. You're looking at that, time, at that time for the abolitionists, right? Mm-hmm. Most slaves are still, they're second, third generation here. Yeah, so sending them back to a place they've never been doesn't help shit. Yeah, that'd be like deporting Irish people that are like third, you know, yeah, third yeah. generation, the kicking was... the Kennedys out just to right, go right. back to Ireland. Right. <laughs> but no, but okay, yeah. but at this time though, this is you know basic ideas for yeah. But because I know that uh, the president Monroe mm-hmm. is the one that was uh, leading the country when that happened. That's why the capital of Liberia is Monrovia. Wow. Yeah. So let me jump in there. It's kind of like when, uh, <laughs> did you hear about the guy that got deported here recently that was not from Mexico? He got deported to Mexico. He gets there. He doesn't have his, his diabetic medicine or anything like that. He doesn't know anything about the place he is. And then, bam, he dies. Yeah. Yeah. We have not deported. Heard of it. We have, ICE has deported Americans. Yeah, on accident. We deported <laughs> uh, somebody that was a, a military veteran. Yeah. Like, yeah, we did. What do you think about ICE? What is that? Because I, I know it's been around. and, and but The way I understand ICE, basically, their big thing is uh, they arrest, I guess, illegal, illegal aliens. aliens. And mm-hmm. deport. Yeah. I Basically, it comes across, there used to be INS was the one that I think did that before ICE. Okay. So I did is if you're illegal and you're a criminal, mm-hmm. they actually, they're proactive deporters. Proactive deporters, because right. if you have a criminal record such as you kill somebody, well, not kill somebody, you're going to stay in jail at that point. And ICE has the easiest job in the world then. But like uh, drunk driver stuff like that, right. that you would be freed for. Yeah. Well, ICE would basically rather, still come get you. Yeah, they could. De- even though they've been more proactive now, and they've been busting people at like if somebody goes to court for a reason, such as if you have a law, you're suing your employer for whatever. Well, if you're not a Citizen, citizen, they can round you up and boom, right at the court. Yeah, because I uh, I saw this this um story. They did a, a roundup while kids were in school. Yeah, they were doing yeah. that, and then the kids got out of school and nobody what? was there to pick them up. Yep. Right. Yeah. Tennessee made uh, the news for this. Hendersonville, the local people stopped ICE from picking up some uh, 
people there at Hendersonville, the population around it. Oh, wow. It was on, I think, the New York Times when it happened. It was really funny seeing people have no idea about Tennessee because it goes back to the whole thing. If something happens in Tennessee, if it's you're just trying to be generic, it always happens in Nashville. Right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you don't want to get too de- deep, which we all do that too. If somebody right. asks you where you're from, you just, if you say you could say Columbia and they'll stare at you where it's like oh, right. Nashville. Yeah, right. You yeah. just round up to the closest. Yeah. 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 But no, I mean that was the case. So, so how many like so? What was the the scenario of them stopping? Like, was it a lot of people that made like a human barrier, like a uh, wall or something? Yeah, I think they actually surrounded yeah. the ice vehicle, or they surrounded and kept them inside of the. I think they either yeah, surrounded the ice like vehicle that, or, they or they surrounded, surrounded the people. The people. That ice I heard they surrounded like they they put like a barrier of arms yeah. locking. Like around and blocking wow. people from like a picket, almost like a picket line. Yeah. You know? So once again, the right. sheer numbers. That's what I like. You know what I mean? Well, right. When you got more numbers than they do, you still you have a factor of of, of they they gotta they gotta fear you a little bit. It's like yeah, they got their badges and they got their weapons and they got their trucks and all that, but just sheer numbers. Right. It's just man, the power of people coming together. I, I'm a big believer in it. Damn. I think. So for Tennessee. us, that the politician should, or Washington should never be afraid of firearms. That's not how you get fear in them. Mm. There should be a fear of the fact that we could change things every two, four, and six years, depending on which ones. Uh, new Congress can change a lot. Yeah. New yeah. Senate can change a lot. New president. Yeah. But the way that, like, how you broke it down last time um, was the dude that looks like a turtle. Senator. Oh, uh, Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell. The way- <laughs> That's crazy, y'all knew. Like, <laughs> like Turtle Guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, turtle no, that, that's his nickname. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he looks just like a turtle. Yeah. Turtle, turtle. I mean, but, um, <laughs> the, like, like you explained last time, though, the way to get him out is you got to get his district to well, vote him state. out. He's yeah, a yeah his, his state to vote him out, and it's a red state for however, how long. Kentucky's yeah. weird. And like that, but those type of moments right there is like, if you're in a Tennessee and you're ice, or you're in a Kentucky and you're yeah. ice, and you're in a, a red state and you feel like, oh well, we can do this, we got this. Like we were talking about the uh, right to fire, you feel like you have yeah. this, this extra that you can get away with because you're in a red state. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just sheer numbers of people, though. I just yeah. Like when you just get surprised. But that's also that, the essence of protesting. Yeah. Uh, Million Man March on Washington D.C. Yeah. Martin Luther King Jr. Going back to him. Uh, I have a dream. That's a crap ton of people there for, mm-hmm. and probably not a firearm in the crowd. <laughs> right. No. No, man. <laughs> Even during the Million Man March, uh, there was no arrest the, or, through that whole time. A million people on, on Capitol Hill. Well, the Ladies March, after Trump got elected, the Women's yeah. March on D.C., what was that? I think uh, 100,000 or something? Mm-hmm. I think there were more at the Women's March than there were at the inauguration. <laughs> right, <Yeah>. right. <laughs> the Women's March blew out the inauguration. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's become a thing. I think they've been doing that for... Um, Especially since, since Trump got yeah. elected. Yeah, since the protests have really increased. And I've seen that's happened a lot around the world, though. Well, it's not just... The, it's funny because it takes one person to do something to really bother people mm-hmm. to create a movement. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, for a while, there was these things called slut, mar- uh, slut walks or slut marches, something like that. Amber Rose, yeah. Uh, and one of the big jokes <laughs> is... Right. Uh, well, the big thing about it, if I remember the story, the first slut walk was because of Toronto's police department. Right. For real? Uh, yes, an officer was speaking at a college in Toronto, and this girl, well, this woman, asked him, it's like, so what could we do to help reduce the chances of getting raped? raped? Yeah. And his response was, well, don't dress like a slut. Oh, uh, And wow. then they start, there was a march afterwards, wow. and a friends of mine joke about it's like can you imagine the police captain when he heard that was the response huh? though right you <laughs> said what <laughs> <laughs> what did you say before that <laughs> that was the answer that's all you Phil, had what the fuck man <laughs> <laughs> Phil, just, you gotta give me your badge right, <laughs> yeah. right. You got just to. pulls out a bottle of whiskey he's like i'm gonna need this <laughs> oh, to the mayor calls oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're walking <laughs> you know what though and they're dressed of... like what <laughs> i resign <Yeah. laughs> but a, a lot of those <sighs> Man, a lot of those police chiefs, they get up there and they say surprising things. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, like just blow you out of your seat. Yeah, uh, yeah. But I, I think a lot of that comes from years of frustration mm-hmm. and years of dealing with... Just fed the fuck up. Yeah. Man. But, I mean, on the opposite end... It's easy to get jaded. As African-Americans, yeah. 
people don't understand how frustrated we get with the random searches in the car. They think we just all of a sudden we're just amped up, and all of a sudden we're just you know nah. we're just mad at in, on the video. We're just mad. No, we're tired, man. We get yeah. tired of like me. I used to get searched like three and four times a year when I had yeah. my Cadillac. Yeah, on my twenty two, man. Let me tell you what. Yeah, bro. One, I got pulled over one time because I had a Saint Bernard in the back seat. He was just like, that's an interesting dog. I'm like, the fuck? Like, what? <laughs> I can't take my dog for a ride, man, you know? But uh, no, wait, we, no, we wait, be fed up whole... with the treatment. By the time it hits a video and somebody's acting crazy, it's because they're tired. They're, mm-hmm. they're tired of it, you know? thing is, for every bad incident that is videotaped, there's probably a hundred where there's not a camera near. Right. right. Or for every bad video, for bad incident that's videotaped, there's a whole backstory that we'll never know. Right. And we only can go well, off of just that 30 second or one minute clip and sum up everything that, that in that point. But we don't know about the, say it's a fight. We don't know the dude been getting bullied for a week. Right. We don't know this guy got pulled over three times. I mean, it's kind of like the bird song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they they showed mind, a man. clip of that, but they didn't show the whole thing. Are you familiar with uh the uh SRO officer Dante Bird song? Mm, no. Oh man, um, SRO officer breaking up a fight. They these two kids got into a fight like three four times yeah. throughout the day, a bully situation. So he's breaking up the fight. It's the fourth time. Breaks it up. The kid is like twelve years old, eleven, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, he runs up and he tries to uh hit the kid around the SRO yeah. officer. So he turns around. Picks the kid up and throws him on the ground. Gets him on the ground, holds him down. He lets the other teachers come over and get the kid that he was trying to protect. Get him out the way yeah. before he gets the kid up and all that. The kid is like discombobulated though. So now, when you see the video footage, you just see him turn around, getting his yeah. kid down. You don't know that the kid been beating his other kid up all day long, right? And, it, you know, and like it was something like uh, where. He had run back and forth a couple times, like, like he had run back, he mm-hmm. pushed him back, and mm-hmm. the kid run back again, he pushed him back, and the kid yeah, run like back. The time. So then they clipped the video for the last run, and where he just runs up and bam, and you know that's. Look, never Go ahead. underestimate the power of asshole escalation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. On all parts, because right. that was good. That's a good uh, quote. I mean, that's it's, a good quote. Because <laughs> there are some cases where a police officer might be an ex-jock or something that hasn't had any power right. or whatsoever. He doesn't have power in his household. Right. So he goes out on the job with a chip on his shoulder. Right. Yep. And yep. then there's the counterpart. There might be an officer out there who is by the book. Mm-hmm. Basically, Captain America. He runs into somebody that just, at that time, he wants to just basically make that cop on the 5 o'clock news. And it's not just any... I mean, it can be anybody because you have all these videos yep. where the people like to challenge the cops, you know, like, right. I know the law. Yeah, the rights. <laughs> the, yeah. And sometimes you're like, okay, yeah, that cop, he, he's an asshole. Yeah. But right. then you look, it's like, well, that guy that's actually back-talking him seems to be a bigger thing they, than the cop. Some of those right. videos, I watch a lot of those. Yeah. They just egg them on. They do come yeah. off as real dick sometimes. Yeah. Like, right. They're just... Right. They'll already have the camera ready and, and can I see your ID? I don't have to give you my ID. I'm right. an American citizen. <laughs> I don't have to do that. I know my rights. <laughs> like then they'll just like zoom in on the camera. Right. <laughs> you know, and you just see the cop space where he's like, Oh, I got one of these pricks. Yeah, man. I just want to see your fucking ID so you can go through the checkpoint, man. Don't yes, make me yeah. shit. It'd be funny just to see a cop say, I'm not making YouTube. I'm not giving you YouTube uh, stuff. I'm yeah. not giving you YouTube. I'm not doing it. <laughs> not can, today. I like the cops to just go with it. Yeah. Oh, all right. You don't have to do that at all. Fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's stuff like that, though, it's interesting because you can go back to, you have that where it makes the cops, it's supposed to make the cops look bad. Yeah. Well, you remember TV, we used to have cops, which made the cops look good. Yeah. 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 So it's crazy. Man. I used to watch cops. The very first episode of cops <laughs> actually showed that cops do shit they're not supposed to do. Yeah. Like yeah. the very first episode, dude was chasing me, yelled out, I'm shooting you in the back. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that should have told you from the first episode, like, whoo hoo. Yeah. <laughs> These, these motherfuckers need body cameras back then. What about, do you remember when Steven Seagal had his, like, cop yes. show? Yes. Oh, yeah, was he in Los, uh, 
Like New Orleans, New Orleans. Yes. Yeah, New Orleans. Yeah. I, like, do you know how fucking pissed off I'd be <laughs> to get pulled over and it's you fucking don't like Steven Steve. Seagal? Because you don't like Steven. No, I don't, it ain't that I don't like him. <laughs> you know, we've been through this. But like, Listen I'm, to the show, no. <laughs> I'd be like, man, what the fuck is this? You know, I want my royalties checked nigga, on this show. Steven Seagal, royalties. can I get your license and registration? Can I get a good movie, nigga? Like, See, I knew it. I knew it was <laughs> are you acting right now? Or, like, what are you doing? I can't tell. Are you for real or are you acting? Acting, yes. Didn't they have a show or something where Shaq did? Uh, Shaq was was wanted to be a sheriff, too. Wanted to be a sheriff. Can you imagine? Like, now that I would be upset about. Like, when Shaq walks to your window. All the money you've made and you, your black ass is out here fucking with me. Yes. <laughs> No, I'm not stepping Look, out of the car. When Shaq <laughs> walks to your window, you're going to be like this. You're going to be like... Zzz. Well, actually... What could you please put your hands back in the window? is going to be right in yeah, right. I'm disrespected immediately. Yeah. <laughs> immediately. As soon as I look over... What the... Is that a Shaq dick? <laughs> so, yes. It better be Shaq outside this damn window. Right. Know Anybody else got their dick on my damn window like this. Right. You, you better have won five titles. Look, you in the, you in the well, back of the... I'm a Celtics fan, so right. it's just like, really, the Lakers get me again. <laughs> Look, man, can you imagine you in the back seat of the police car? That seat got to be way back. You in that little, <laughs> like you in a Camaro that. back seat in Shaq's squad car. Academy, you know you should have come back. That'd be Hightower from Police yeah, Academy. Yeah, Hightower, <laughs> yeah. Well, shout out to Police Academy. That was a great oh, movie. Crazy movie. Movies, oh, yeah. What was the guy's name? Guy's name. Uh, oh, he was in... Uh, Bubba Smith. No. Was the guy that played Hightower in Police no, Academy. No, the guy, the old man, he's been, he, he was in all the other funny movies. Uh, well, uh-huh. I'm holding up the show. Help me here. I don't he's, know. He's been in like the. They had a cast of like twelve to fifteen officers. <laughs> What's the movie that? OJ is he was black? In? Is he What's white? The movie that OJ oh, was in? Uh, you talking about Leslie Nielsen? There we go. Woo! Naked Gun. Naked yes. Gun. Yes. yes, Naked Gun. Leslie Nelson, one of the funniest motherfuckers. You ever. really think Leslie Nielsen's funny? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, you should watch a sh- movie Him called and Don Creep Rickles. Show. Right, yeah, it was fine. good. It was good. What movie? Was called, I think it's called Creep Show. Creep, Creep Show. show. It's a horror movie. Leslie Nielsen's in it, and he's not funny. Uh, oh, wow. Yes. We're going to check out. Has any of the viewers, dark. y'all ever seen Creep Show? Give us Leslie some information. Nielsen goes dark. Please. I think it was, oh. it might have been 70s, 80s. It had a really Tales from the Crypt kind of. Oh, wow. I don't know if I'd be able to take him seriously. I don't know, man. You you see, you're, you're, I mean, even didn't Richard Pryor play in some dark movies? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he Bill did. Cosby was what Ghost yeah. Dad. <laughs> Ghost Dad was not funny. That was a no. mess for me, dude. <laughs> you know, and the fact that he died off because of the rollerblade on the stairs. Yeah, uh, that would not have been so calm. Robin Williams has two. Dark uh, ones. He, pretty Rob, dark. Uh, yeah. Robin can photo go dark. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And the other Robin one I think dark. is uh, Insomnia, Insomnia, where yeah. he's. Uh, is it in, Insomnia? I think so, where uh, it, his counterpart is uh, Al Pacino. Mm. Oh, wow. You know who can go dark with ease and do an amazing job? Jim Carrey. There you go. <laughs> and that's why we're fucking friends. Yeah, it's Jim like Carrey, that. yes. <laughs> I knew it before it even friends. came out of his mouth. I was like, Jim Carrey. Yeah. It's Jim gotta Carrey. Be Jim of course. Carrey. He can't go dark. Number 23 yeah. Changed my life yeah. Look at numbers different I- <laughs> <laughs> What about uh, oh, And it wasn't a dark But it was kind of dark But it was a beautiful movie The one where he Where uh, Robin Williams Goes to hell To get his wife Yes uh, Is it what Dreams what, May Come Yeah what Dreams May Come Yeah it was, it's good too He yeah. goes to hell And he gets his wife And he brings her soul Or tries to bring her soul back And Also Yeah More what serious roles That come? he did Uh was uh, Dead Poet Society? Oh, yeah. I love Dead Poet Society. Great movie. Yeah. Dead Poet Society. What is the movie he was in with Matt Damon? Where he... Goodwill Motherfucking Hunting. Yes, that's one of the greatest <laughs> movies ever conceived. I just Matt Damon just like <laughs> popped in my head. I he love that movie. movie with Matt Damon. I yeah. love him. He did a great job. Big bearded fucker he was. Yeah. I love him, man. <laughs> he did a damn good job, man. Boy, Him and Matt Damon like bounced off each other perfectly, dude. Right. Perfectly. I love Goodwill Hunting like a motherfucker. I, I have like five actors that I could say that I can watch just about any movie they are in. Robin Williams is definitely on that list. Robin Williams is one. Definitely. Uh, I'm a Liam Neeson fan. Oh, I yeah. liked a lot of his movies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. So you so you like hunting people then? Because that's what he does through <laughs> well, half of his movies. Well, <laughs> oh, that one with the wolves. 
Oh, oh the, the gray? gray? The gray was good. Was just, Actually, the gray funniest was thing, it was in a movie called Deadpool. It was a dirty, Shout out hairy movie. to David. <laughs> Shout out to Day Day. Yeah, Day Day. That's Deadpool. my cousin in Boston. I have him share our he stuff in Deadpool. Boston. It's an old Dirty Harry movie. Yeah. He plays like a director in it. Dang. Young Liam Neeson plays a director in it. Uh, <laughs> has Dolomite came it. out yet? No, it hasn't. Oh. It hasn't. Another great Eddie Murphy. Godly. Yep. Everything's great, but Pluto Nash. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so you're a Norbit fan. <laughs> uh, Norbit was great. Okay. Norbit was. Pluto I Nash. can tolerate some a lot of movies, right? But the Pluto, but Pluto Nash, Nash was the one that yeah. I just gotta look at the camera. Eddie. <laughs> Pluto Nash. Damn it. I think he's supposed to do stand up or something. I think he's agreed to do one no, last stand up special. Google I'm it. Thinking. No, he hasn't. Uh, <laughs> no, somebody Google it. Google Let it. Let me see. Please. All right. This will be an an, an elated day. If that is true, because if Eddie Murphy is about to do a stand-up his first special. stand-up special is like one of the greatest. Oh my God, time. Raw! Yes, in the red, love yes. it. What you mean? I love the and fact- then delirious in the purple. If he comes back in another leather outfit, I swear. <laughs> oh. <after the> game. <laughs> I'm thinking that he was. They're in negotiation. Yeah, it's what a Netflix special it says. Eddie Murphy <laughs> is bringing Eddie Murphy back. Yeah. Now, Prefer- it's but it's not till 2020. I don't give a fuck. I know it's coming. Yeah. This is going to be hilarious. Yeah. That man is the one of the funniest people to ever breathe I, I oxygen. Think one of my favorite things that oh, he did was God. when he was talking about uh, Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby. Like Bill Cosby cool. told him not to be dirty and Richard yeah. Pryor's response. <laughs> Next time the motherfucker called, tell him I said suck my, my dick. dick. <laughs> yeah. But uh do you do you tell your jokes? Do people like your jokes? Do you do you get paid? Yeah. Well, tell Bill, I said have a coke and a smile and shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we see who won that debate. <laughs> <laughs> who would ever thought Bill Cosby, America's dad, might be slightly yeah. Yeah. Slight, well not oh, slightly, uh, quite rapey. He's <laughs> quite rapey. Yeah. He's quite rapey. Well, there is there is like a question that I think it was one of the prosecutors said he could be the not the greatest. I don't want to use greatest because it's wrong. But one no, of the, say it. Say like, it, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest raper sounds horrible. <laughs> the greatest raper. Put us on Fox. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, yes. But, <laughs> but, because, but the, the greatest is, raper. Like, they, yes. they, <laughs> that he could be guilty of like so many rapes that like he could hold that title. Wow, oh. Bill. <laughs> I'm about to put and pop that pussy. <laughs> Man, shout out to Bill Cosby. I think he's innocent. I love you, Bill. <laughs> he, had to, he had to do it with drugs because he you know he how Mike he Tyson talks. How Bill talks and stuff like that. He'd yeah. be easily identified. Otherwise. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 And the cops are like, no, there's no way. Yeah, that's got to A pop is a real. <laughs> Poor Bill. Like, I can't imagine seeing Bill in jail. Like, you just got arrested on DUI. You go into the drunk tank. You look over, and there's Bill. 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 You, you know. just look at that. You just get the... <laughs> And what if that nigga that got cocked easily in that motherfucker? He hitting push ups. Yeah. He think Bill doing it. He got time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what mean, if he comes out like got. Gucci? What if he come out of blood <laughs> or crib? <laughs> oh my first God. First thing he do is Prison. stack up. Yeah. yeah oh, Prison's man. hard. <laughs> I, I have no doubt about that. But I often wonder when Mike Tyson went to prison. Oh, he was if chilling. he was ever crossed or no. whatever, he no. was chilling. The people was... knew not to cross. I nah. wouldn't cross yeah. Mike today. Hell no, you wouldn't. Hell, Hell no. no, you would not. I'm not crossing you, Mike. No, you I, I would. believe when if, he's 80, I'm is, still gonna, not going to do that. If there is a higher power, God, he has a sense of humor because he put that voice in that, on that man. Body. Yes. <laughs> Most dangerous man sounds like a squirrel with helium. Yeah, the uh, squirrel with helium. helium. The two greatest jokes of all: first, the duckbill platypus; second, Mike Tyson. Yeah, the greatest divine joke. Yes. How you doing, guys? Uh-huh. I got a weed factory. I love it. Is that the nigga just knocked me out? Right. You got knocked the fuck out, man. Yeah. And the fact that now he's. He's an entertainer. I mean, that's yeah, to yeah the he is. Tenth power. Yes, he is I, an entertainer. I like the fact that he's just like in a better headspace. He's, he's just, embraced himself. Yeah, and turned it into a 
billion dollar market. One man show oh, that shit. apparently is amazing that he does. Mm -hmm. uh, Cartoon Network has a cartoon Turn that's basically Scooby Doo. Oh, yes, but with Mike Tyson. Yes, Jamie Foxx is in the biography. He's, uh, he's playing Mike Tyson yeah. in a movie. Shut up. Yeah, I had no idea. It sounds just like best that. Universal wow. actor. Like apparently, and, bro, how many biopics is Jamie Foxx going to get? Do as many as he wants. Yeah, he can do uh, as many as he uh, can. He can imitate so well on a just on a. I can't even do it fast enough. Just, it's just, it's like Jamie Foxx, and man. I can't believe I forgot the. Uh, one guy he played uh, four stump. Uh, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. My Tom God. Hanks and Jamie Foxx make all the biopics. That's yeah. what they're doing yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna watch all of them. If it's them two, they can they can cast uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Black Panther. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That guy has been Thurgood Marshall, uh, uh, <laughs> Red, uh, Red Jackie Jackson. Robinson, Jackie it, Robinson, yeah. Jackie Robinson. Um, was it Martin Luther King? Was he? No, I don't. Was he? No, he wasn't he was, Martin Luther King. No, nah, that was Selma. Yeah. Who else? He's Thurgood Marshall. He yep. was Jackie Robinson. He was Black Panther. Was he Nat Turner? Oh, no, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> Black Panther is Nat Turner. Marvel would not have. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, They're not that cool. <laughs> <laughs> but he's been like four different characters and yeah. Black Panther. But as long as we can keep it to Tom Hanks and those two, I'm fine. Yeah, I, yeah. I watch all of them. I don't care. Right. Tom Hanks, America's Dad. I Tom miss. Tom Hanks is awesome. Dude. I miss old Jamie Foxx though. Foxhole. Fox oh, Foxhole. Okay. Foxhole Jamie Foxx. That yeah. stand-up comedian where he was piano. just... So, he's just so too cool now that he could never go back to that Jamie Foxx. I, I bet he will. I, well, I mean, I wish he I, would. I, after Eddie Murphy come out and show that he can kill shit, everybody going to... Right, right. Steve well, Harvey some gonna of them do don't want to do <laughs> Some of them are, are 100% done with stand-up. Damn. Because they're... It's the audiences that are So an issue sensitive now. nowadays. Yeah. What did you think about the Dave Chappelle Sticks and Stones? It was great. Yes. It was yeah. It was great. It was but great. then again, though, like I enjoy stuff like Chappelle, Bill Burr. The, yes. uh, these guys cause problems. When, right. If you're sensitive, did you I, see, they you raise see awareness. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen Paper Tiger? Hmm? The Paper Bill Burr special? I have not seen the Bill Burr that. special. I want to. Go. Is it on watch. Netflix? Yes. Where can I find it? Okay. Yes. All he's. Right. I'm just going to say he's in London, right? <laughs> So he's doing all the he's doing <laughs> shit he knows never in a hundred years he could do over here, bro. Right. Like, and it's still yeah. he's. I don't know if he knew Ch that Chappelle was on this edgy, but both of them, bro, watch Paper Tiger. Uh, actually, I he he doesn't know what a fuck looks like. He's not given one. No. <laughs> <laughs> what that's who? If he is playing a character, he's playing that white Boston guy that mm -hmm. stopped giving a shit when he was three. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, and he plays it very well. Yeah. He plays it amazingly. Uh, I know he's got a podcast with his wife. Uh, no, she, she's on there sometimes. Sometimes, but, yeah. But, but, no, he's he's a maniac. Like, yeah. the way we're going, it's three of us yeah. going an hour. He he does two podcasts a week solo. Like, right. An hour apiece. Right. He's sitting there just talking into Mike yes. into his own nothingness. Right. You have to be thrown the fuck off. This dude's been doing it for like twelve years. <laughs> well Bill Burr comes across as sometimes angry, right? So if you're angry, yeah. you got a lot to talk about. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> he, he likes to explain why. Yes. <laughs> oh, right. I mean he loves uh one of his uh he likes explaining what's wrong with uh some guys the males now versus yeah. like Versus what he probably grew up with. I agree when he gets pissed off about overpopulation. Mm. Like, the population in the world is crazy. And I, and I like his ideas. I mean, they're never going to work. It's mass murder. Yeah. You know <laughs> <laughs> but at least somebody's putting some but thought into it. He's the only person I hear talk about the overpopulation. If, if you really think about it, our population's blown up yes. in the last 50 years. Yes. So probably since World War Two. Definitely. Well, if you notice the major thing, like national conflicts don't exist anymore like if you look before like world war two and world war one mm -hmm. there's always a mass war between somebody and yeah uh, don't get me wrong i'm not saying that's the an answer for anything it's like fix a population problem we need a world war three but no i mean that was the case we've sort of talked things out more than we did back then mm -hmm. and thus do you think that's because we, we of the nuclear capabilities we have yes now? i yeah. think it's a deterrent 
I mean, yes, definitely. That's why you don't want certain people to have a deterrent because they're not going to use it that way. Right. right. They're like, I really push this fucking button. Don't play with me. <laughs> but you know, help is on the way. They they getting ready to come out with this male birth control shit. The help is on the way. Uh, do not take Nick, the male birth oh, control. Oh, don't here. don't knock it till it gets here and we see what type of no. bad, bro. It's gonna, maybe it's going to be horrible. I don't know. It's going to be horrible. But All right, first off, everybody always knows. When something new comes out, whether it's technology or especially if it's a pill, when something new first comes out, it's always got some fucked up stuff about it. It's got the bugs. It's got yeah. the side effects. It's got the, the messed up shit. So you're talking about male birth control, something never introduced ever before. Right. And you don't think it's going to be some kind of complications? I mean, maybe. Man. Uh, maybe. They also tested Give it out. Give three years birth. and you're going to see commercials saying... Has you or a family member or someone that you love been con- has contracted cancer due to the uh, pharmaceutical known as known as What's it sterilize your dick? <laughs> <laughs> I, used, I used to think no baby mama drama the lowest no baby mama drama doing that plan <laughs> politicians. Then I started paying attention to the ambulance chasers that now use TV because they can't really chase ambulances anymore. No. Right. So I, it's like. These guys really, if you think about it, if anybody wishes harm on people, it's these guys who want to sue people. Right. Yes. But for me, I it's a step it. in the right direction, though. How, bro? Bro, can you imagine if we got out of high school and we have a deterrent not to have kids that's in our control? I mean, yeah, there's condoms, but uh-huh. we all know how condoms are, too. You know, but if we could have been like, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and get on this pill to make sure I don't have no babies, niggas, like I said, they're gonna be taking them motherfuckers faithfully. They're gonna be no snorting them bitches. Wait. Yes. I don't care what anybody says. Just think says. about, all right, so the birth control that they already have already throws people's hormones off, makes them gain weight. Makes some them of them have it. Lost. Some of it. I mean, each, either one you have has side effects. And Everything has side effects. Yeah, you you eat depends. beef, you got side effects. I'm saying, beef. Beef. It's what's wrong. Beef. Yeah. Yes. Male birth control. Your balls probably gonna like rot up inside you or some shit. I mean, problem solved. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was ever accused the unit of having a kid. Right, right. <laughs> but the, the dick still works though, right? The dick, uh, as long as the dick works. It's, it's a 50-50. Yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> it's a 50-50. If it kills sex drive, it won't be work. That's the one thing that I think it can't do. Like, if it's a pill that kills sex drive, then... It's, it's not gonna pop. It's not uh, gonna pop. Yeah, uh, or but, they end up telling you that because of the flesh and stuff, you gotta use electricity to get it started. Like oh man! <laughs> but you know what though? I believe there's some people out there if they could electrically jumpstart their dick, they would. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, I could electrically jumpstart my dick. Yeah. No, I got a good three-hour charge. Yeah, I can go in here with no problem. No, I don't have to like close my eyes and think about like granny titties and shit like that. You're right. Yeah, I hook my shit at the spark plug. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Who's in was, trouble? You're in trouble. Yeah, you're in trouble. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Science will find a way. Science right. will find a way. Do you think there's something uh, like a pill that does lower your sex drive? Uh, yeah, there's plenty of pills with that side effects is lowering your sex drive. No, I just mean when it just does it outright, this lowers the sex drive. Uh, oh, oh. Well, theoretically, heart medication definitely does it. Yeah. For real? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to start taking that shit. Uh, you trying to lower the six drive? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at that. Uh, I look think at I have a million dollars Robert a Schimmel. Who? Robert Schimmel. Robert um, Schimmel. He is a hell of a comedian. He passed away many years ago. Yeah. But he uh, did a stand-up special, and all of his stuff's basically about sex. He is very, like... My type of guy. Uh, he, Wrong He's shit. something. Uh, <laughs> but uh, he had a heart attack, and then he did a special afterward, and he was talking about his heart medication. And oh, stuff like, no. And then he met his... Uh, I think it, he ends up talking about his uh, daughter's boyfriend comes in tries to ask him for advice how to hook up with his daughter he thought about it I was like you're gonna to have to talk to your dad and he's like i thought about it for a second do i want his dad giving him tips to sleep with my daughter right. it's like i tell you what boy i'll give you 50 dollars to take this heart medication oh wow <laughs> wow killing it killing the drive uh, <laughs> that's genius yeah. all right i'll give you 50 bucks to take this yeah you gotta worry about it no fucking more yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But like I said, uh, he's worth looking at. He's mm. one of those good uh, late '90s kind of comedians. Right, I like him. I think his big story was his. Uh, he went to a uh, open mic night with his sister. It was his birthday. Yeah. He had no intention of being a comedian. 
his sister signed him up without him knowing to open mic. They call him up. He goes on there. He kills. And I think there was a guy in the audience like, you've never done this before? He's like, no. It's like, boom. Hired him on. All right. Wow. And because of his top type of comedy for a while, he did the uh, whatever the adult movie like Oscars whatever oh, they call shit. those things he was a host for it for a while oh wow I would love that job <laughs> yeah, yeah I would love that job. <laughs> speaking of adult things <laughs> right. what about oh, I was going right. through my list I just got a new app for my uh, for my fire stick and I was going through the list and realized I had all the adult channels on there yes yes, yes. i was like the hustler and uh all of them it was the, man i've got you? like 40 adult channels wow i don't have 40 yeah and this is what Jeez. i've realized those things are so outdated yeah. because nowadays you pull up pornography on your phone mm-hmm. you just jump to the stuff you want to see but in those now that you got the you channels you gotta that? watch you gotta watch through all the shit you don't want to look at you got to really enjoy it. Yeah, you got to really sit there and watch it. Like, you can't skip all the way to the, you know what I mean? Her riding reverse cowboy. Yeah, it's style. like, up, up, she's riding. This is what I'm here for. Hey, I'm you too know? I got I got to have that control. Yes, that's and that's what I, I was like, wow, this is so late. I finally have it that Man. I've wanted since I was 13. Since, since I was a <laughs> youngin'. And, I was legit, I wanted to Yes, and now I've got it, and it's outdated. <sighs> I'm surprised they even got David to tell to be like a food taster for pornographic things because that was his thing. Oh, yeah. Like insomnia. Oh, like that's that rough stuff. Great. So I be just, just like a food network thing, but just for adult movies. Right, so right, we just right, right, right. About. I think you just gave us an idea for who that segment. He <laughs> right. loves to eat. <laughs> <laughs> who that? The adult yeah. dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> we can definitely make that happen. I was, I was talking to my girl. I was like, what if I had to become a gigolo to survive <laughs> a fat gigolo so would you be okay with that like how would that you know what I mean? what she, uh, she was like no that's like cheating that's, that's, <laughs> nothing, that's nothing like cheating that's, it's business it's, it's, I'm paying oh, the bill I said what if I was bringing home like you know three grand a week out of you know four days working or something you know like you gotta eat. Hey. <laughs> could you do it if you're in a committed relationship could you be a gigolo for a career yeah, definitely. 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 And how would you pitch that to your old lady? You want to be honest? Yeah. You a lie, wouldn't you? You wouldn't <laughs> tell her, wouldn't nope. you? There's two people in my head that probably have like highest potential if I was to be in a relationship setting. Mm-hmm. And both of them would help me do it. Yeah. <laughs> if I was... if. All I have to do is come in with the first three thousand. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to. I you don't have them, to work anymore. I can't tell them all the way ahead of time. Yeah. So them first four days are going to, have to be secret. Yeah. And when I come in with the first three thousand. Yeah. And I'm like, where you get this from? And then I have the workers come in and I introduce them and yeah. all that. This is Sheila. This is Stacy. This wait, is wait, 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 wait. All the names start with S because I don't want to get confused, honey. Now listen, I got three thousand dollars because each of them brought me a thousand. I know no, what you're no, thinking. No, no. That's uh, a pimp. That's, that's not a, a gigolo. Pimp. <laughs> a gigolo is you're out there fucking bitches for money. Oh yes, I could definitely. Win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ain't talking about pimping. Any nigga could be a pimp. Oh, you gonna fucking give me money? Yeah, they go- <laughs> gigolo. There's not even a market for that anymore, is it? No. Yeah, no. no. Like, but but could pimp? you do it though? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. I do think yeah, yeah. Las Vegas has that. Yeah, I bet they do. Well, yeah, Las Vegas has everything. Bro. Like if you could yeah, offer, yeah. if you could offer like cuddle packages, you uh, would sell even more. Yeah, you three racks a week. Yeah, dropping off dick and spending time listening to their problems that's what i do any goddamn fucking place <laughs> for free for yeah. fucking free <laughs> yeah. of all jobs i've heard that's at the most extreme no go back to tyson he's the most extreme he's a tiger breeder oh yeah uh, a tiger that breeder. is the most extreme job wow <laughs> you a cold motherfucker yeah that's some hood nigga shit right? yeah. <laughs> I breed I tigers you, and pigeons. You know you grow came weed. from the projects. <laughs> that man is Brooklyn bred. I used I used to breed pit bulls. Now I breed tiger pit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine Christmas? That nigga talking about. I brought you a tiger. <laughs> you know what I mean? we'll take that little motherfucker right back with you. Yeah. It's cute. It's cute. I, I would keep it. I'm not keeping no tiger. Man, bro. I imagine the market. How much you think a uh, tiger go on the black market? Ooh, I like the way you think. Oh, flip that. Yeah. Two thousand. Two, Easy. two, two, three grand, yeah. Well, there are foxes no. that are sold. There are you domesticated can... foxes from Russia, I think, that sell for 18 to 20 
well, eighteen hundred to two thousand dollars. Oh man! So that's a fox. Wow. Now we have a tiger. Tiger, the real king of the jungle, because he actually lives in the jungle. Yeah, I'm selling for four. Uh, I'm going yeah. with four stacks. Four stacks. Man, tigers almost extinct nowadays. You yeah. seen the numbers? Well, yeah. I think yeah, it's yeah, in man. Dubai or whatever. Like people are so wealthy, they have like uh, leopards and stuff like that as pets, just yeah. as a domesticated animal. Just like you know, you'll see somebody with like a Ferrari and. Right next to him, where somebody might have a house cat, there's like a leopard. Or yeah, something. yeah. I seen a video with a dude with a cheetah sitting in this passenger side seat with the with the window down, yeah. like they just chilling in the car. They just blowing a blowing a damn blunt and then yeah, I mean, really just that's crazy. Yeah. I hope, yeah. they, I hope they all get attacked. <laughs> See, that would be nature finding a way. Right. Yeah, right. right. You're too comfortable. Right. You've gotten to a point and you're st- like, all right, we were talking about. The type of historians yeah. and everything. Um, that's an example of technology changing people too much. Like well, we're domesticating the 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 one the immediate animal group that we all know can like really fuck us up. Yeah, we're yeah. top of the food chain, but lions, tigers, bears on my type shit, yeah. leopards and cheetahs. Yeah. When we get to the point that we're comfortably chilling in a convertible with you, right. we've gotten way too. Right. It probably we, took a few oh, generations wow. for the first humans to actually domesticate dogs or right. wolves. Yeah, we're way too comfortable. We're because, trying way uh, too much new shit. Right, we're bored. Yeah, bro, male <laughs> birth control. Yeah, cheetahs as as. But, Ferrari partners I just, Yeah <laughs> We're not really Aggressively bored though Back in the old days People get bored And they just conquer Their neighbors Like now we just Extreme sports Or extreme living Or right. whatever that is yeah, right. that's, we, we Blind something. dates With psycho bitches <laughs> Oh bro That's yeah. extreme I feel bad Because I'm outdated In so much stuff And somebody was Explaining Tinder to me One time And I was like That sounds like A horrible idea Like <laughs> <Right. laughs> <laughs> In all honesty, you're right. <laughs> that's that was like great. They, that was great. That's that like they, horrible. They say you know <laughs> they trained us, you know they raised us not to get in cars with strangers, and now we have an app for it that we pay to do it. Who would have Uber? Oh my goodness, Lyft. But they do have rules that. Was that- you can't like have a van or something to pick people up. Cause yes. can you imagine how horrified some person's been drinking a little bit? All of a sudden, this massive utility van pulls right. up, the door slides yeah. open. <laughs> what the fuck? Right. Yeah. You might drive. Right. Exactly. Oh my god. So um, when I had uh, when I was unemployed. I really got in tune with DoorDash. <laughs> I went through my two days of depression. Thank you, DoorDash, for bringing me everything that I wanted to the door. Yes, it was That's wonderful. Great. I like, ordered DoorDash McDonald's breakfast, and I had, like, a bunch of sausage and biscuits, a bunch of, like, I had some chicken biscuits, you know, for the kids and all yeah. that shit. And I just ordered it, and, like, at, like, 8.15, they were at my door that morning. I just went to the door, got it, thank you. You know what I mean? Tip on the app. You, know, you ain't got to give them no cash. They just, drop, they just, get just it. drop it, what? man. I just put it on the table. When they woke up, I was like, it's in the what? kitchen. So how much extra is that to... Uh, it depends. They run a lot of like coupon little specials where you can get a free delivery and shit like that. Damn. But you don't get the sales prices. <laughs> like, let's say they're doing like... Two McRibs yeah. for five dollars. Now it'd be just regular price McRibs. Mm, okay. That's the catch, I think. Okay. Yeah. What well, makes you think? Like for the longest, the only like delivery food was Chinese and pizza. There's Why a, did it take so long for everybody else to like jump on board? I mean, we didn't have the app. Yeah, it was just we, somebody had to develop a, a a vehicle, like a way. Like I'm waiting for CBD delivery company. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, can't you... What's the one uh, delivery app? Oh, man. Not DoorDash. It's... Uh, it's cool. They're not paying. Postmates. Ah. Don't Postmates deliver stuff other than food? I don't know. I don't I'm know. Sure. I don't know. We're giving a lot of people credit. They ain't paying. Hey, yeah, I know. Hey, anybody that uses Postmates out there, let me know if they deliver more than food. Any yeah. listeners, please. Because <laughs> he might go well, through another two day depression. Like said, it took me forever to figure here what Tinder was. So, technology wise, app wise, yeah. I'm still like, I still like paper books. Right, yeah, right. So. <laughs> I love paper books, bro. It's, I just it's, can't get on like the whole, I know like 
there are apps and stuff, and there's like the ebooks. It's yeah, like, I this it. works so much better. I it mean, does. I still write checks. I mean, because oh. I, I, <laughs> I just did one of them a long time. Man, I had to write a check like I might be a certain ago. age, but I feel like I'm eighty. Yeah, I just yeah. haven't got to the point of yelling people get off my lawn yet or anything. <laughs> right, yeah, I, I right. Mean, I just, I don't. I don't accept this new world they're proposing, man. Yeah, you don't, don't like, like it. I just don't like it. Like I like old books, man. Yeah, I like old. Well, the, I like it's books. the smell. I mean, yeah, the man. old books that might be bad for us. It's probably ammonia or something like that. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> and then, maybe we should come up with a fragrance of a candle that's old books. Oh, the old books fragrance. Ooh. Mighty monk candles. Right, just like a whole line Ooh. of stuff that we'll just... just have. We'll have paperback and hardback. Mm. Two cents. One of my favorite things I ever learned about in like my medieval history classes, which I loved and stuff, was a big difference between us now versus then. Was like death was just so common back then that yes. monks would have a skull, not a fake skull, but a real skull, on their little desk with a candle on it. That was their candle holder, just to remind them, it's like you're gonna die one day. Yeah, like, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying go dig up Granny for like a like a ornament on your desk, but it's right. just like. That's just a different Reminded. mentality we have now. Yeah. Yes, memento mori. Yeah, we're, we're nice. trying everything to live the longest we can. Oh, yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I really, no. <laughs> I have no. There I is don't. a belief at one time we're going to get to, a, there is a belief that <laughs> with the right kind of science and the right kind of gene therapy and stuff that you could stop the aging process. But it's like we got seven billion people now. Yeah, we don't. What need happens that. if you everybody starts living to two hundred? Oh, exactly. I know. We don't need that. That's part of the whole GM crisis. They the baby boomers have lived so long. They've got so many people on retirement mm-hmm. that they're still paying for it. That that's that's part of why they can't uh, mm-hmm. hire these uh, temps. And well, temps. Yeah. The baby boomers is an interesting thing because of the social security drain that will come from them. Not meaning this bad, but it's just a fact. There are more baby boomers than the next generations. Right. Mm. All the baby boomers are getting ready to enter, if they haven't, retirement age, Social yeah. Security age. Yeah. Right. That's why, and next thing oh, you know, because of how Social worse. Security works, we all pull into Social Security now. Yeah. If more people are pulling out that are put it, than put it in, next thing you know, it's like... Yeah, okay. pot's empty. Yeah. yeah so, pot's empty. so the baby boomers, what we, you say we got to buy what? Three, four years before they kick into retirement age. What's the last baby boomer? Sixty? Is it sixty nine or seventy? I don't know. Oh, 60, we just yeah. seventy, seventy. So just yeah. give them seventy. I don't know when the baby boomers yeah. in and next yeah. generation begins. So seventy. Let's Probably, see. I give them about six more years. Thirty. Is it because during the baby boomers, that's when they were coming back from the war, right? Uh, or was it during, during it's the uh, all the children from World War Two till actually it might be 74 so maybe all yeah. the children from uh, World War Two to, yeah. to the end of Vietnam thought so thought so so we going back to 44 so uh, yeah. yeah 41 42 all the way to 75 those are all baby boomers oh man yeah and all of them are going to be pulling from retirement and, and at least at the very very least six years four six seven years yeah. damn yeah. so what happens at that point when more are pulling out than, than are putting in I mean it's just like everybody drinking the Kool-Aid but you only got one nigga making the Kool-Aid uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah it's gonna, yeah. It's gonna get pretty and, tight and we're gonna have yeah. to look at it I mean there's there, well it'll be evaluated as you know it goes through more yeah. I mean you got one one side that believes maybe we should just drop it or lower what we pay people mm. but you can't do that I right. mean I'd be highly pissed off. I'm getting ready to draw Social Security, and they tell me all of a sudden, it's like, oh, yeah, by the way, I know you were expecting this much. You're getting $750 less a month. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Got me fucked up. Yeah, I mean. I mean, but it's a possibility. It's a real thing that could happen. Yeah, I mean. You got me fucked up, Uncle Sam. <laughs> you don't worked for, yeah. you know, 40 years. And the fact that it's a pool years. versus. How much in taxes? Yeah. It's a pool versus everybody, uh, you know, uh, what you pay in and be what you get in the end. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure, mm-hmm. for sure. Mm. It's now would Bernie Sanders would his system be able to fix that, or would it make it actually worse? I don't worse? think Bernie's talked about social yeah, security. I don't much. think that yeah. it's something that nobody wants to touch that because there's no solution for it. But the bad part for about real. that one is like you could easily say something and it turned out to be a lie like really quick. I could always just change up. It's well. You gotta remember, politicians are afraid of George H. Bush. 
The H-W? daddy. Yeah. Because he made the promise to no new taxes and it cost him his second election. Right. So when so you make, so you right. don't want to make promises. You want to make promises that you could say, "I tried." I feel you. That's what Obama did a lot. Uh, he he, he, was, he preached hope. I mean, yeah. Obama's whole thing so is like that's pre- what I'm saying. He was able to hit you with the "I yeah. tried" and like give me a second term, I'll be able to finish it up. It, like that it first didn't term. help that McConnell like said, "I'm gonna make him a one term president." Yeah. So right off the bat, there's no working together. No, ever. I, don't get me wrong. I don't believe that. The way to fix it is just throw like one party into everything because that's a horrible idea. Because if only if you're pulling ideas from one side, that's doesn't, that doesn't do. There's good no checks things. and balance. You need to pull ideas from everywhere, and just in some cases, like well, that's a really bad idea, so we're going to leave that one alone. Way the fuck over there. Yeah, <laughs> but you do have a point about this. I didn't think of it this way, and you gave me this way, so I might readdress this. A mm-hmm. prime example actually was in the last Democratic debate. Uh, there's the big thing about mm. losing jobs in factories. Yeah. Well, the the uh, assembly line and stuff like that, they're like, well, the jobs are going overseas. It's like, actually, most jobs are lost because of automation. Right. So, mm. it's like, it's not it's going overseas. You're getting replaced by robots. Yeah. That's... Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And replace say it again. Replaced by what? Robots. I mean, in all honesty, Andrew Yang, that's one of the things Thank he talks you. about is... You know, the tech part that's changing. I uh, hate self checkout. <laughs> oh, man. I do too. Yeah, I try and go to a person Walmart, every time just to support their job. My you know? work hours. Walmart, I My work hours. Me. I go in Walmart at like three or four. Right. So there's nobody there except for the, the self checkout. Yeah. Yeah. And then I just stare at it. It's like this dual thing because I hate it. I, I hit something, especially if you want to buy something that's weight or something like that, mm-hmm. and just like it's not doing it. It's like, yeah, well, you work. I don't want to spend 30 minutes waiting to find the one individual that's walking around here somewhere. And I, <laughs> right, right. And I make it a point that uh, I'd never know how to do it. I make them come help me. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. It is not my job, has not been my job to do this. Right. You're not going to no. And I know that all the aisles might be closed or they all might be filled or whatever the fuck. If I have to do a self-checkout, I'm not doing it. And then I'm going to tell them as they're showing me this simple-ass thing that's yeah. supposed to be so easy. You know this is replacing you, right? You know this is meant to replace you. You're right. helping me learn the well, thing that's going to replace you. Yep. It's, it's one of the funny things. Like, fucking hate the it. restaurants that instead of giving you the condiments, you take your stuff out there to... Yeah. You know, put the condiments on it. Yeah. yeah. It's like, no, this is horse crap. Like, it's those little things. Yeah. It's a slippery slope, man. Yeah. And I think the AI, and I'm so glad you told me those three different types of historians, because I feel like the AI is to a point now to where it's, it's just like the future movies. What? Like, no matter if we evolve or don't evolve as humans, it is it is already a self-thinking yeah. thing thing I, I think we're screwed bro be honest the whole idea is like i said i just remember exactly how it is it's the three types one yeah. tech pulls society up one mm-hmm. humanity pulls society up the other one's just giant circle nobody pulls anybody up because we're just going to repeat mm. this will so that's what it is and i do believe in the essence of depending too much on technology we hurt ourselves i yeah. mean we really do i don't think ourselves. we've ever been this dependent in like in history terms like on the whole timeline of the, of the human civilization, like actually the first civilization, what was mm-hmm. that? Babylon first was first civilization. Uh, Sumeria, ancient Sumeria ancient was Sumeria, the first actual you. civilization. I so from that point upwards, I don't think we've been this dependent on tech on technological forces to to keep but, the the world running. I think even in Sumeria, you know, they had the alien uh, stuff in the, in the in there is the belief. That, yeah, I don't. But, uh, I, I still think they they share cropped by hand more you know what I'm saying well, I mean civilization uh, is the idea that we remove ourselves from hunter gatherers mm-hmm. the city is the idea that people are des- uh, designated to more or less you know farm in one way whether you're raising animals or you're raising vegetables as you're saying right. even back then I mean the great technological advance was metal tools yeah yeah Bro- exactly. like I mean if you look at the ages of humanity it's 
the Stone Age, the Bronze Age, right. uh, the Iron Age, and then I guess you could say, you know, when that's we when developed we the, steels. Yeah, but that's when we had the revolutionary, uh, the revolution, uh, uh, the steam, steam power so, locomotive. Well, and all there that. is but the... Until uh, then, it was just, though, do you think technology has evolved too far at this point? It's been such a boost. Sometimes I, I don't we think so, because we're missing certain areas that our priorities, because... Like I said, I believe everything's circular. Yeah. But our priorities as a society yeah. determines more or less what technology is going to be. Because I believe there's certain things that had we have to have. Our right. medicines, we have to have. Right. I mean, it's funny that bacteria can save so much life, just like penicil- penicillin. Uh, yeah. Just something so simple as that. Yeah. And that's a, you know what? That's a, a cool perspective to, to have. And it gives me... Uh, a different perspective looking at technology um not as social media hurting the humankind but actually seeing that there's more people saved by penicillin which is an advancement in technology than there are people that are hurt by social yeah. media or whatever i really expected like like these vapes i expected them to come up with ways to administer medication through the vapes Mm. But I didn't see anything with it. They were like, you know what I mean? It's actually being shut down. It could yeah. be coming though. Yeah, who knows? Um, we need to look into that. Right. As far as as medical advancements, great. But I think the last probably ten years, we took a step back and focused mainly on entertainment. Yeah. Yes. For technology. Yeah. Well, Go ahead. It goes back. I think in some ways. <laughs> Talking about fear in a population, mm-hmm. there's the easiest. There's been one way to always control the population: bread and games. Yes. Ah. Oh, so great. As you're yes. saying, the entertainment. Right. So yes, everybody has a little handheld device there yep. that can keep them entertained. Bread and and games. yes, there are people that are not getting food and stuff, but large majority of them mm-hmm. do have food. Yeah. Right. I mean, in some ways, uh, social welfare programs are sort of a bread and games kind of way. Right. And it's, uh, Real quick, explain to the viewers what you mean by bread and games. I mean, bread and grain, excuse me. Uh, bread and games is and a games. Uh, mm-hmm. ancient Roman idea that yeah, the emperors so found true. out how you keep the populace happy you keep the is mob. fed because they would feed, everybody got bread in Rome. Mm-hmm. I mean, they would, you know, just toss out bread. Yeah. Right. And the Colosseum was so easy to get to, or the. It was so huge. Oh, I can't remember the name of the horse, the chariot races. Right, right, right. Yeah. There was so much entertainment in Rome that people, their life was a little rough in a lot of cases. I but mean, they, they really had no rights. In, Head up. Yeah, I mean, their senators, even though it was a republic, it was a very selective republic. Only certain people could be senators. Yeah. Right. Uh, but nobody said anything, you know, when. Because bread and game. Yeah. As long as you're fed and entertained, you tend you're not happy. to care. Right. Exactly, man. It's that easy. And I I think now though, because we have stepped back, I agree with you on that one. Right. But because we have that it's that so simple bread and games, mm-hmm. but the technology is at at this level, I feel like we've the human society ourselves have have kept this stagnant mentality. Right. That goes all the way back to the days of Rome, the yeah. you know, days of old. But our technology to satisfy that, we have DoorDash and social media right. in hand. So I feel like it's we're letting the, the technology uh, surpass us. Yeah. Well, the whole idea, if you really think about it, even if the government was oppressed a certain way, right? Right. It's like, do are you really willing to undo certain things, such as your DoorDash and stuff like that? If you decide it's time for a revolution... You Your dash is go. probably not going to bring you right. the first thing <laughs> off the list. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. First and those those uh, we'll say commodities is what stops people from trying to start any sort of revolution, trying to shake the balance of life and stuff Fear of like loss. that. Yeah, yeah. Fear of loss. But I, I'm just you know alien on a. Uh, I've been on my spaceship viewing this, <laughs> viewing this planet the last the last. Few Have months. you listened to your uh, your two audio <laughs> no, episodes? <laughs> oh my gosh, you got to go listen to it. Right. So You're he good. plays uh, was it Colonel Calhoun? Yeah. yeah. On the Sergeant uh, Calhoun. Yes, <laughs> and uh, we've actually got you a little crew together. We had some guys come in and record. Uh, <laughs> 
like soldiers, you know, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But you it's platoon, bro. we we still haven't hit the uh, the season finale. It's coming Great movie up too. If you get a chance, watch it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Love yeah. platoon. So that's interesting. Charlie it, Sheen did a great job. Charlie Sheen. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a, yeah. I went and saw Charlie Sheen live. For real? Yeah, I went to. I drove all the way to Atlanta to go to his show. <laughs> How was it? Was I it, mean, it was, was a hot ass driving? mess, but I was entertained. All right. Yeah, I, got, I yeah. wouldn't expect anything else from Charlie Sheen. Right. <laughs> a bunch of motorboating and <laughs> dick jokes and prostitutes and blow talk. And right. I mean, it was nothing that, you know, Netflix can put on, but it was definitely worth seeing. I thought the man was on his way out the door. I figured he'd be OD'd by now. <laughs> nope. You know? He still he's still. What his father thinks. Martin Sheen seems like such a straight laced. Oh, my kind goodness. Of shit. <laughs> There's no telling, but that no. straight la- laceness could be what caused him to be. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. yeah and for sure. the, uh, Martin Sheen went through his uh, own times. That that apocalypse now opening scene when he was in the mirror and everything. That dude had his that his what? demons too. All right, Charlie was just let uh, his grow with him. <laughs> what? Don't forget, there's the other brother too. Oh, Emilio Estevez, yes. baby. Yes. No, no. Yes. Flying B. Flying ducks. What you mean? Yeah. I mean, oh it's, yeah. Emilio, what the fuck happened to him? He did everything right. No one gives a fuck about him. <laughs> oh, shit. He, yeah. I know he did. Take a few that as a lesson. He did, kids. I did, I did, he did quite a few movies with Charlie Sheen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. His brother tried. He tried to keep him around. I think there's a movie called Cadence or something like that. It was Charlie Sheen, uh, mm-hmm. Emilio Estevez, oh, uh, the guy who played in. Uh, I can see his face so clearly. He was Matrix. He played uh, Keanu Morpheus. Reeves. Oh, uh, uh, of Lawrence Fishburne. Yes. Yeah, I believe he was in Larry. it. Larry. <laughs> uh, I think Martin Sheen was in it too. Yeah. So it's a, it's a it's Damn. a military prison movie. Oh wow. Cadence. I believe the name oh, of the movie is Cadence. Oh, was, wow. was 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 Lawrence young in a movie? Oh, this is much younger. Yeah. Because right. you got real. I like. I like Emilio young. hasn't ha- been in movies. In like forever, right? About right. A good fifteen, at least. It, no, no. It had to be Mighty Ducks, <laughs> unless he's playing a side part in a movie yeah, I didn't know no, about. Mighty Ducks was ninety six, ninety seven. <laughs> <laughs> no, he he hasn't made a movie in this millennia, yeah, right? <laughs> I don't right. Think he has. Somebody pull up his IMDb. Yeah. Right. You know, know what? what though? I wonder how them residual checks are hitting. They hit. Oh, bro, he's not worried. Yeah, he's, fine. he's still getting residual he's good. checks. Yeah. Those Mighty Ducks, no, nah, he's doing great. Don't worry about Emilio. Yeah. <laughs> he's all right. Emilio. Emilio's fine. Right. Oh, yeah, I think for, a lot of if he, older... if he gets streaming numbers from uh, from Netflix or anything like that, I've helped Emilio yeah. out. Yeah, you like, helped him out. Yeah, my Let's son see, Mighty Ducks was Disney, so yeah. he might end up also doing, Disney has their own convention thing they're doing now. Boom. Uh, uh, I forgot what Dis- uh, Disney. Are you talking about Disney Plus or? You're talking about well, the streaming, streaming service. service, yeah. But uh, they oh, have the a uh, Disney convention, convention. That, yeah, that basically has been going against San Diego Comic Con. Yeah. Oh, wow. And uh, because Disney has Marvel, Star Wars, stuff oh, like that, they're able to have this and massive Disney. thing. Powerhouse, yeah. And Disney. Yeah. Now, hold on real quick. What about they announce that Disney Plus is going to have the 90s X-Men Man, cartoon yes. and Gargoyles on it. And funny. Gargoyles. I, they might have sold me. And they're making a Gargoyles movie. Yeah, Jordan Peele's going to direct it. My now, God. Yeah. Gargoyles has one of the greatest voice actors playing the main guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, what is that black guy? Keith asking? David? Yes. Yeah, good. Uh, Ooh, nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> voice, great voice actor. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just... Right. Uh, just... And then you had the X Men, com- well, '90s X Men, which yes. we all had had our favorites. I mean, I watched the '90s X Men cartoon today. So, so dark and did. serious for kids, though. That's yo. <laughs> I, you if know they what? really made a movie that was like the, the animated, the oh, cartoon, it'd be wonderful. It, but it would be for adults. Oh yeah, but it would be wonderful. How creepy! Like I was watching it again, and I was like, Wolverine is so creepy on Jean Grey. Like every time something was wrong with Jean Grey, it's like. Gene, I'm here for you. <laughs> just me. <laughs> I mean, it's just fucking it's creepy. It's the saddest little triangle that Sad. it's not a triangle. At no, all. no. <laughs> he today Wolverine would totally be blocked on Facebook. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, why are you messaging me talking about I'm here for you, Gene? Well, the closest person to him on the '90s X-Men cartoon was Jubilee. Yes. Who was like 14 or 15. Right. <laughs> Ooh, 
you can't touch. But, uh, <laughs> back then, maybe today. <laughs> no, today he's can't do super shit, creeper. Man. You know super what I mean? Creeper on yeah. all yeah. Super creepy. And then maybe you have claws from in your the hands nicest people, people on the planet. He's Canadian. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so right. Like the nicest people. The lone <laughs> asshole is like five nice. foot three. <laughs> bone claws. Dude, it was just several episodes. <laughs> Like, when I was a kid, I used to watch it, and I'd be like, why doesn't she give Wolverine a chance? But then I watch it as an adult. I'm like, Wolverine, why are you so fucking creepy why on this man? Thirsty. Thirsty. Wolverine, why are you so... Somebody throw some water on Wolverine. Wolverine, please. thirsty. After all these years. Yeah. Damn. Wolverine is a desperate lane. Yes. Like, there was... I watched probably a total of five episodes, and in those five episodes, every episode, there was a... Gene... I'll take care of you. No. And they're like, Gene is with him. He's like with the Cyclops. Yeah. Stop. The f- what the fuck are you doing, my nigga? He's fine. Yeah. And then what about the, the biggest dick tease for the whole X-Men is Rogue because you can't touch her. You can't uh, touch her. You got this. You'll die. Yes, yeah, you'll die if you touch Rogue. So you've got this bomb ass redhead looking flying. With the V cut. With, with the huge that. tits. Just and you can't touch it. Can't her. touch it. The funniest touch part about that also is the couple, that couple, right? Mm-hmm. Are the two Southerners. Yeah. So she's supposed to be from Mississippi and he's from like Louisiana. You talking about Gambit? Gambit and yeah. Rogue just And Gambit, eventually Gambit's like, fuck it. You know <laughs> what I mean? I'm just gonna die. And he's just like, oh ugh. you know what I mean? But yeah, it's yeah. Damn, Gambit. He was like, I've been waiting too long. One of one of the underrated uh X Men members. Gambit. Yeah. Oh yeah, Gambit. He did not get enough he's love. He's he like didn't a fan enough. favorite. Well, I'm saying he yes, didn't get enough but, love in the movies, though. They didn't. Yeah, like, they didn't give enough. Yeah, it's special effects like claws. I think they said that they had one. Pa- they had uh, Cyclops demanded a lot of the uh, CGI, oh. so they didn't want to. They didn't want to like recycle the same kind of effect. So Gambit, who charges right, cars Gambit. up. Are we going to do laser eyes or flaming cars? We can't do both. Yeah. <laughs> There's some guy in the back's like, I think we can. Yeah. <laughs> we might be able to. Shut <laughs> Hey, they got, that, they got that Disney money now. They can do it they now. Do it Disney they want now. Be like, I can't wait. Disney's going to buy their own country one day. It's oh, just yeah. Like, yeah. They might buy our country. Shit. <laughs> they can probably get us out the debt. It's like China. good news. Yeah. <laughs> They fix our deficit problem. What? Disney bought Florida. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Florida. Florida and California fixed everything. <laughs> Trump gave them a great deal. <laughs> uh, but oh, I got this shit. huge deal. Really right. huge deal. I'm pretty sure he would sell California. He made a though. great deal. Oh, yeah, 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 for me, sure. He's... Me and Disney sat down. It was great. It was such a great deal. It was one of the best deals that you ever heard. Now we're going to sell Florida, but it's, so, it's okay because you still visit. But it's so great. It's so fun. The whole thing is going to be an amusement park now. Yeah. Could Obama do that? Could about no. no. It's not this great. So Disney oh. Florida is now called Dorda because D. George Waltlin. Yeah, Waltlin. <laughs> Waltlin. Yeah. Waltlin. Yeah, Waltlin. Waltlin. Uh, but uh, no, no, no jewels. No jewels. <laughs> so, but well, um, real quick. Is there any updates you'd like, any political updates you'd like to give us? Well, as you said, Bernie's back in the picture. Yeah. And it seems through the politics, the uh, last debate, Elizabeth Warren is no longer untouchable because since she's become a front runner, a lot of the others went after her right. and mm-hmm. treated her as a front runner. Yeah. Right. Uh, what did she get hit with? I didn't get to watch it. Oh, they're pointing out she's talking about the Medicare for all. Yeah. Well, she's not. Completely being as upfront as Bernie is about how to pay for Medicare for mm-hmm. all. Bernie tells us all of our taxes are going to go up. Mm-hmm. She's she's There's not addressing that. Apply. She's saying that she promises it won't increase the cost for the middle class. Mm. But it's doesn't yeah. look the same. Um, no. I know the next debate. I think we're finally going to have a smaller stage instead of twelve damn people on it. Because I think the requirements to be on the next one would be a lot. You know stricter so okay we might finally get down to having six to eight people on the stage and most of these debates are filed down and and we're still a year out but i think it's gonna file down pretty pretty fast it looks like the slim the pickings are becoming slimmer yeah well you know a lot of a lot of them up there they're just cannon fodder anyway yeah in all honesty like the real candidates you're looking at percentage wise are really bernie warren and joe biden 
Right. Biden's still seriously taking these. Biden, is, taking these dudes Biden has a Biden has supporters that the others can't even touch, and it's weird. From where? From who? Who are they? How? Well, if you want to get technical, the Southern African American community. Yeah, he Most kicks the crap out of Biden. Like, we, we like Biden though. They, they like Why do Biden. we like Biden? Yeah, it, but it's the older. It's, it's the older. older. It's the, like Man. like my mom and all her friends will not vote for Bernie. I can't talk to them about Bernie. No. Nothing. They don't want to hear nothing. They're like he's too old. That's it. That's all they got. He's too Even old. Though Joe Biden and Bernie are like on the same age. Right. Yeah. Right. I think yeah. a year off. I think. Like, right. Um, I actually uh, Andrew Yang is looking pretty pretty interesting. I'm not. I don't know. Him. His problem is he seems like he's a one issue candidate a lot of times because mm. it always goes back to the thousand dollars a month yeah but at the same time though talking about the automation and stuff like that that was a big big move and i guess they call him the yang gang yeah his, his followers they might get him on the next stage the yang gang yes i don't think that's a good name for your political campaign <laughs> the yang gang. yeah i don't know if that's yang and the gang <laughs> yang um, and the gang of course, of course the <laughs> other one is opening uh, the door to a stereotype <laughs> the, well the lesser like the further down uh your fourth one is pete Buttigieg, mayor pete mayor pete i like pete uh, it's not his time right now, but but he's no, he's, he's definitely gonna come up. Yeah, I mean, he's got right. plenty of time to go again. Yeah, right. uh, but let's see. I just I don't know about the others like Harris Gabbard. Uh, I, I'm not taking. Harris. Lo- I th- but there is a billionaire. I think he bought his way on stage this time. Oh. Uh, Tom, Tom, the, <laughs> Sawyer is it Sawyer? 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 Like, yeah. Wasn't he the same when I was trying to get people to impeach Trump? Is it the same? Oh, he, he is left. He is very left. Yeah. yeah. He's a left. I remember the commercials. He hurts the Democrats because they want his money on their campaign. Right, no, right. So like, but he's, not, he's running for president. Right. It was like, you know, you want this amount of money and I have this amount of money. I'm just <laughs> going to do this. I'm going to do it myself. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do it myself. You that's do a, that. He just did it. That's a Ross, that's a Ross Perot move. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Which we did lose Ross Perot this past year, I think. Yeah, yeah. You know what, though? I liked Ross Perot. A lot of people didn't like Ross Perot, but here's the deal about it. Like, I don't know if you know this, but, like, what was it? Where did they his uh, his people get held up by that terrorist, and he sent the group down there? Do you remember? I remember he sent, basically, Mercs. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> since the American government doesn't deal with terrorists, they had taken some of his, uh, were they employees? Yeah. Employees, they had taken some of his employees. Okay. So he hired mercenaries <laughs> to go get the motherfuckers <laughs> and bring them back, and they did. I think, it was it South America, I think? Yeah. So what? Yeah, it's Ross, oh, Ross Perot's a billionaire. Yeah, he's, he was he's an oil tycoon, wasn't he? So he What's was that? like, was it oil tycoon? Te- Texas Instruments. Oh, Texas Instruments. <laughs> Oops, woo, my bad. These dudes outfitted him with the shit to go get him. Yeah, yeah. Be exact. Also, he may have been involved with uh, weapons contracts too. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. outfitted him with the heat. Oh, yeah. Right. Now, don't get me wrong. Was... Nobody would ever mess with Dick Cheney's people because of right. Hillibur- <laughs> Halliburton. Oh just... my god. Yes. Hey, yo, is Dick Cheney still alive? Yeah. <sighs> He what? How many heart transplants has he had? Maybe you deal with the devil, you can live forever. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Very true. But no, uh, I, I think he. Sorry, guys. I when uh, Trump was first elected, he was actually uh, a right commentator on Fox for a little bit. I don't know if he's still doing it, but he, you know, sp- right. spoke about me because he is How his branch is what they call neocons, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Neoconservatives. Which okay. are more worldly kind of yeah, one world government conservative uh, people, right? We don't we don't necessarily officially say it, but regime change is a good thing, right. especially mm. if regime change is pro American. Right, uh, that's them. Yeah, Alex Jones. They loved Iraq. Them. They loved Iraq. That was their baby. Yo, that confuses the hell out of me. Wow. How us as a population like know we got lied to and. We nothing. just accept it. There's nothing. Well, I believe they ran experiments on social media to see how much bullshit we, we could take but, in. But we know it's a pretty, like, understood thing now, looking back, that there weren't but, any weapons of mass destruction at all. And, like, tax money was given. Lives and, like, were lost. Lives were lost. All yeah. of that. Oh, like, oh. I should have said lives before well, the money. Technically, yeah. we did respond to it, in a way. How? Oh. Obama became president. Yeah. Ah, I, I mean, mean, in all like, honesty, in all honesty, like nobody went to jail. Like no, there was no like OJ trial. All right. You know what right. I'm saying? I don't get how that just flies. It, I don't get it. 
You gotta have the right amount of spaceship smoking weed. I just (laughs) you gotta have the right, you know, like committee hearings and stuff like that. Right, it just just wasn't there. The support for it wasn't there. Democracy takes too long. Yeah. So um, we've hit our time marker, guys. Is anything you'd like to uh, to add before we go? November 9th, Shut Up and Ink. We had Revolution Ink uh, Tattoo Studios for the uh, across from the big wash tub. Yep, on uh, Hatcher Lane. Um, we're gonna be out there then the after party is not nah, it's not Hatcher Lane, is it? I thought that was Trywood. No, nah, that's Hatcher Lane. Is it? Big Wash Tub, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh uh Yeah. And then the after party is gonna be at the Sky Bar, um one seven nine River Road. We're gonna have uh some tattoo artists down there. Um it's gonna be dope. So we're gonna be doing um I don't know. We having a Supreme Vegan, I think, is going to be cooking up the food for us and all that. I, I guess yeah. so. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. November the 9th. Put it in your calendars. Come rock with us. Follow me on Instagram at Yeezy LaFleur. Uh, check out the Who That page. Make sure you stay active. Make sure you stay in the work recovery page on Facebook if you're right. um, doing this strike, if you're looking for a job. Right. Uh, we, we've got a... Uh... Damien Boggs next week on the show. Yo, yeah, he's make coming. Make sure you guys tune in next week. It's a motherfucking treat. Yeah, so I Damien Boggs will be on here. He's gonna be uh, performing on uh, November 9th, Shut up and ink. Short and low. Um, da- uh, Weaver. What is Derek Weaver? Will be doing a glass blowing display. And then we have the fire. Yeah, then we have the fire dancer. I need to contact her, too. Yeah. So, um, we also have, what is the poet group? Oh, yeah, Frizzy, uh, our last guest, the um, Po Boys and Poets. They will be performing. Poetry. Um, so, yeah, we've got, a, we've got a lineup of entertainment on top of the food. six contestants, on top of the entertainment, the podcast, the food trucks, you know, everything. So, make yeah. sure you're there. Please be there. It's free. It's free. Why the fuck wouldn't you come? Exactly. You know, like really? Come why the fuck pictures. wouldn't you come? We kiss babies. Yeah, all that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> John, so, any, anything? As far as it goes, uh, I think I can't remember when the next debate is. I'll get you okay. for that if people want to turn it, tune into that. Uh, as far as it goes, uh, till next time I see y'all. All right. Hold on. One last thing. Yes. The union goes on to vote. Hold on, I'm going to change this camera angle. Wow. Boom. They are going to vote tomorrow on their new contract. So there's a possibility y'all will be going back to work. I wanted to try and get somebody on here beforehand to talk to you about the details of the contract. But it didn't happen. Some conflict. But tomorrow they're going to vote. And we'll see how that turns out. You know, I know a lot of people are ready to go back to work. A lot of people want to work. You know, but if the contract ain't right, then it ain't right. I'm not saying it is or isn't. I don't have the details of it. I've just heard speculation, and I really don't like to fuck with speculation. Right. But if, you know, there's a chance y'all might be going back to work soon, you know? I mean, there's a chance y'all might not either, so. But we'll keep you updated. Yeah, we'll definitely keep you posted. If I didn't have to work tomorrow, I would go there live to wherever they're voting and let it run. You know what I'm saying? And get people's opinions and stuff. But I will be at work so Brandon you got anything uh stay blessed um stay safe uh and don't be scared to think and question things it's not illegal yet right and hit that donate button yes go to the page it's a sign up button button. sign up button on the page sign up for the patreon we could use your support the more yeah. support we get, the further we can go, the We're further we can put Columbia where we need to, and the more exposure we can give to all these locals that we have on the show showing you what they do and doing what they love and stuff like that. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well. But, like, just stick around. Uh, keep us updated on anything that you might want us to talk about. Like, don't be shy come by the page post a link let us see any of these crazy videos or whatever yeah somebody sent brandon the the pastor video send it yeah. to him he ready to see this pastor do what this he do sounds funny first, <laughs> first send him one of the three girls just giving out random head you know, i'll so. i'll send you the barbershop send video. me that one yeah. somebody send me the pastor video and any other videos y'all might know about just yeah shoot those to me i'll yeah. talk about them next week but like for real uh anything you want to to cover on the show or, or hit or talk about 
Put it on the page. You know what? We're definitely going to be covering the uh, the drug epidemic. The last, it really every single Sunday. Sunday I wake up to somebody dead, and I, you know, we need. I'm looking for a drug counselor to come on the show and to talk about this epidemic to get people help, and you know, like especially in Tennessee. Yes, we're, we're too high ranked in that. Right, like is it? Um, you know, um, rest in peace, Corey Rossman. That was my that was my uh, my Sunday message. Wake up to well, really, it was Saturday in the middle of the day. I didn't even get to wake up Sunday. Saturday, I was getting the message. So, you know, I he was a classmate of mine, yeah. and you know. It's something we just need to address, and we need to do. You lost yeah. someone the weekend before, didn't you? Yeah, uh, Dravius Vasilio uh, Hidalgo Esmond, long name, but my friend, a uh, classmate, also just had his funeral yesterday. And then uh, after the funeral, we were getting together and eating. We got worried about court. So it was you get done. You get done with one, and you get news about the other, and it's been like that. Like you, you pointed out, right. the last two months. Yeah, just so I would like to get somebody who's who's. Uh, had a has a, a history uh, or is still dealing with addiction. I would like to get a drug counselor. I like to get a pharmacist. On. Right. I would like to get like different cogs in the whole thing. And, right. And really like have a, a real discussion. Right. I really like that. So you if know you know somebody, that. just send them our way. I put a post up. People have been responding. I've got a couple names. I got to check them out and see which one I want on here. But I'm going to get somebody on here, and we're going to do a special episode just about that. Yep. Just about epidemic, ways to help people, where they need to go, the fight, the struggle, all that mm-hmm. stuff. And then we'll follow that up with people who are surviving who were addicts. Yep. So after we do that, you know, after we do one, we're going to do the other. So follow the full spectrum and try and, and get people involved, try and get people you know, trying to get help and information out to people. Yes. So this is obviously a problem that's not going away, you know? No. So, we, we and make it, we're going to take the first step at trying to find people help. And then the second step is to follow, let them follow up and see people who are surviving, who have been there. But really the problem to me and my eyes, and you can hate me for saying this, the problem I mean, y'all know who's selling these drugs to these people? They're, they're killing your community. I mean, that's what it is. They're killing their community. They're feeding themselves to kill you. Mm. So, I mean, and yeah, a lot of people say if it ain't one person, it's another. Yeah. But you remember, you remember them X pills. What did they do about them X pills? They started putting attempted murder charges yeah, on them X pills. Yeah, yeah, they did. Hey, I don't know where to find the X pill right now. They're still out there. I mean, they're there, but it ain't like what it was before. You can, right. you get X-Pill fast and you get some weed. Right. They put them attempted murder charges on that shit. That shit was gone. It's easier to pro- to produce uh, these other drugs, though, than, yeah. than, than X-Pills. It's, it's, just, it's just a different monster. Well, but we're going to get to the root cause of it, though. Yeah. Pharmaceuticals. Yeah. We're going to get to the root <laughs> cause. We're going to... The only way that you can kill a tree is if you expose the root to the light. Yeah. So we got to just we we get to the root cause of it and then work our way up from there and then follow it up with the episode of people that that have survived and beat it or still dealing with it and and, and right. you know years sober and all that then I th- you just you put know, something down into the atmosphere and you see what We happens. should make a shirt for that. We can do that. You know what I mean? The only way, you know, say it again. Well, oh, the only way to kill a tree is to expose the root to the light. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, we'll come up with something. Yeah, I yeah. like that you all right. That's, I'm high. That did come out pretty nice. Yeah. But y'all uh, stay blessed. Have a good week. Uh, if we get any news, we might do a little special um, presentation in the middle of the week. But until then, signing out. SS Who That? Who That? Who That? You're now rocking with DJ. Who That? Ain't nothing wrong. It's gotta be my imagination. I think it's in the Let's go.